How bad could it really get? Could we survive it? Or is this game over for Earth as we know it? Today, we're diving into the science, the chaos, and the global fallout of a Yellowstone supervolcano eruption. Trust me, this is going to blow your mind. Let's go. Number one, what is Yellowstone's supervolcano? Let's start with the basics. What exactly is Yellowstone's supervolcano? And why does it matter so much? Sitting beneath Yellowstone National Park is a massive volcanic system known as the Yellowstone Caldera. It's not just any volcano, it's a supervolcano, meaning its eruptions are thousands of times more powerful than those from regular volcanoes. The caldera itself formed during a catastrophic eruption about 640,000 years ago, which blanketed huge parts of North America in ash. Scientists believe Yellowstone has erupted three times in the last 2.1 million years, with each eruption creating widespread devastation. But what's fascinating is the magma chamber beneath the park. It's a reservoir of molten rock that fuels Yellowstone's famous geysers and hot springs. The question everyone wants to know, is it going to erupt again? The short answer, it's possible, but it's not as overdue as some headlines might suggest. Geologists keep a close eye on Yellowstone's activity using seismographs, GPS monitors, and thermal imaging. While there are signs of geological activity, like small earthquakes and ground deformation, these are normal behaviors for a volcanic system and don't mean an eruption is imminent. For now, Yellowstone remains quiet, but understanding its potential helps us grasp the scale of what could happen if it woke up. Two, the local impacts. Let's talk about ground zero. What happens around Yellowstone when the supervolcano erupts? The initial blast. The eruption itself would release an unfathomable amount of energy, obliterating everything within a roughly 50 mile radius. The blast zone, Wyoming, Montana, and Idaho, would face catastrophic shock waves and pyroclastic flows. These flows, made of scorching hot gases, ash, and rock, would sweep across the region at terrifying speeds, incinerating everything in their path. The ash fallout. Beyond the immediate blast zone, a massive plume of volcanic ash would rise miles into the atmosphere, spreading across the U.S. and beyond. Areas hundreds of miles away would experience heavy ashfall, collapsing roofs, contaminating water supplies, and causing respiratory issues for people and animals alike. Evacuation challenges. Even with advance warning, which might come in the form of seismic activity or ground swelling, evacuating millions of people would be an enormous challenge. Roads would be clogged, panic would spread, and time would be limited. Those caught within the inner zones would face life-threatening conditions almost immediately. For the region surrounding Yellowstone, the destruction would be on a scale that's hard to comprehend. Cities and towns would be buried, ecosystems would be destroyed, and life as people know it would cease to exist in that area. 3. The National and Global Fallout Here's where the real chaos begins, because the impact of Yellowstone's eruption wouldn't stop at the U.S. borders, it would spread across the entire planet, ashfall across the U.S. The ash plume would cover much of the continental U.S., with some regions experiencing ash layers several feet thick. This would paralyze transportation networks, roads, railways, and airports, making it nearly impossible to move goods or evacuate people. Crops would be smothered, livestock would struggle to survive, and entire industries would grind to a halt. Volcanic winter. One of the scariest global impacts comes from the gases released during an eruption, particularly sulfur dioxide. These gases would rise into the stratosphere, forming tiny particles that reflect sunlight away from the Earth. 
The result? A significant drop in global temperatures, known as a volcanic winter. Such cooling could last for years, disrupting ecosystems and food production worldwide. Global food shortages. The cooling effect, combined with ashfall, would devastate agriculture globally. Crops would fail due to reduced sunlight and cooler temperatures, sparking food shortages and widespread famine. Countries already struggling with food insecurity would be hit the hardest. Economic ripple effects. From supply chain disruptions to financial market collapse, the economic toll would be staggering. The U.S. economy alone would suffer catastrophic losses, but the global economy would also spiral as nations grappled with the fallout. Worldwide cooperation. In the midst of this chaos, international cooperation would be critical, but strained. Countries would need to work together to manage food supplies, aid affected populations, and combat the effects of a cooler climate. Whether humanity could rise to the challenge would be the ultimate test. So four, could humanity survive? While the eruption of Yellowstone would undoubtedly be one of humanity's greatest challenges, the question remains, could we survive it? The answer lies in adaptability, innovation, and global cooperation. Crisis management. Governments and organizations would need to act fast, mobilizing emergency responses to evacuate areas, distribute aid, and manage ashfall. Countries affected by the volcanic winter would prioritize feeding their populations, protecting critical infrastructure, and combating climate effects. International relief efforts would be crucial to prevent total collapse, adaptation, and innovation. Human resilience shines brightest in times of crisis. In the wake of the eruption, innovations like greenhouse farming, alternative energy sources, and advanced water filtration systems could help offset the damages. Scientists and engineers would work tirelessly to find ways to sustain food production and rebuild industries. Historical context. Looking to the past, we've seen humanity survive smaller but devastating volcanic events. The eruption of Mount Tambora in 1815 caused the year without a summer, leading to famines and societal shifts, but humanity persevered. Modern technology and global communication give us more tools today to manage disasters of this scale. The human spirit. Ultimately, survival depends on our ability to come together. From local communities to international coalitions, cooperation would be key in overcoming the fallout. Challenges like food shortages, climate shifts, and economic recovery would test humanity's resolve, but history shows that we have the capacity to endure and rebuild. Could humanity survive Yellowstone's eruption? It wouldn't be easy, but our resilience and resourcefulness might just carry us through. A Yellowstone eruption would be one of the most catastrophic events humanity has ever faced, shaking the earth to its core, literally and figuratively. The local destruction would be unimaginable. The global fallout would test economies, governments, and agriculture, and survival would demand everything we've got. Innovation, cooperation, and resilience. But here's the silver lining. While the Yellowstone supervolcano is a powerful force of nature, scientists are working hard to monitor its activity and understand its behavior. By studying and preparing for these kinds of disasters, we equip ourselves to face the unimaginable and protect future generations. So, while the eruption of Yellowstone is a scenario that sparks fear and awe, it's also a reminder of humanity's capacity to adapt, rebuild, and survive. Could we endure such a disaster? History suggests that we can, but it would take everything we've got to rise from the ashes.